Well, right, y'all, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We're here in Hogsmeade with Drunken the Monkey. After last episode, which we helped Sebastian find the relic in the Feldcroft Catacombs, we learned the Imperious Curse and then proceeded uh, to defend Feldcroft from a goblin invasion, uh, which a goblin was going to kill Sebastian's sister. He stopped it with the Imperious Curse. Not the best idea in my eyes, but oh well, that's what happened. Uncle t basically told us to stay away from Feldcroft and not, not to use any more dark magic, or he's going to be telling on us. That being said, uh, we decided to do the mission with Poppy next, where we got to talk to her about the dragon egg that we found. Um, on the way here, though, before last episode, we talked to a house elf that basically led me to believe that we can get our own shop, uh, which is something we are definitely going to do if that's the case. Uh, so yeah, let's talk to Poppy. Do it and get it done, son. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week, she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. Huh. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the Neasles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Now how that... Yeah, okay. <laughs> How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Oh. <laughs> well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find <clears throat> her. The terrain's <clears throat> typical of where the group would nest. Excuse me. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. Right. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Good point. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Revelio. Let's look around here first. All right. She's definitely here somewhere. Above us, she did oh. make it home safely. <laughs> It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Okay, that's good. Revelio. Do we need to be sneaking around? Ooh. We'll take these, that's for sure.
Um. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. We're here dropping off eggs and we're picking up Ashwinder eggs. Uh, that's kind of ironic. Revelio. Oh, these must be left from the poachers. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. You don't think she'd at least smell us or something? Definitely poachers around here. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulas. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago, not to mention Borneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Agnes. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Revelio! There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna need this. Places. Oops. Repair. Right. Revelio. Perfect. Oh, we're almost there. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. Uh, how lucky for us. <laughs> no joke. Oh, this is going to be dangerous, isn't it? Watch your step. Well, we're getting a lot of ingredients to make uh, potions with. Wiganwell potions, that is. So I'm assuming we're going to be using a bunch of them here. <laughs> Revelio. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grap horn. Holy. Or just raring for a fight. Rap. Oh, man. There's no turning back now. Remember, we don't want to hurt her. Run! Wait, I'll run ahead. When 
Whenever you're ready, I'll follow your lead. I'll draw her attention. Follow me. Let's go. Run. Revelio. Okay. That wasn't that bad. Poppy, where did you go? Ask me. Uh, yeah. Rodrigo. Oops. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past that. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Get to that opening below her. Uh, nerve wracking. Revelio. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repairo. Oh, let's go. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Oh, wow. Now that was something. That was something. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again.
I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder the how Velio. she lived here, or where she'll go now. Wow, this area is cool looking. That was fun. All right, let's talk. I can't believe any of what <clears throat> just happened. Still taking it all in. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Okay, what's going on? How could I have been so blind? New instruments are it. Back already! I picked up this violin in Diagon Alley. Come. Okay, what well, just happened? Okay. Hmm. Let's do that one. So Poppy, <laughs> where did Poppy go? She needed to send an owl and she just was like, oop, gone. I wonder if I on another adventure, are we? Oh no. I wonder if I could have followed her. Foolish child. Do you have any idea how many muggles the ministry had to obliviate to cover up your exes? But <laughs> kids being yelled at by, uh, by a howler. All right, buddy, what do you guys say? Speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Felthcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. 
Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. All right. <clears throat> Revelio. Huh. Interesting. All right, before we do that, what do the quests say? Another Sebastian one. Gobbledygook. That's the Lodgok mission. Okay, okay. But now, yeah, we're going to check this one out. Here. Ooh, we've got another new item. Back to the room. So we can't be going to... Hogsmeade... ...without selling some of this Gia. Pick up the goodies. Uh, we're full. Alright, with that being said, we're going to Hogsmeade. Oops. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ugh. That reminds me. I'm to pick up some cabbage. You're back. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we're here to sell. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. No worries. All right, now let's go talk to this Cassandra Mason. That's who we need to talk to. Oh, level three. Did we get all the level two locks in here? No, we don't need to go. Oh, here we go. Have I been in this house? Is that what I think it is? It is. Come here, buddy. Thank you. I'll take that. All right. What is this? Hello, <clears throat> Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? I am. Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvelous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But... And do please forgive me for asking. Don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I am quite capable of owning a shop, I can assure you. 
I should think you'd be happy to have a buyer. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And, of course, you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. <laughs> I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Ha! <laughs> your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And, of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business and ensuring its success. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. I already got the money. So 1500 for a shop, huh? What's the... Okay. Madam Mason... About the shop? Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. All right, well, I'll just do this. I don't trust her. So I sell her, or I buy it from her 1500 and then I got to give her the shot back if I fail at a discount. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. 
There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repairer. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. This will surely be the most successful shop in Hogsweed. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <gasps> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. All right. So what is this? Revelio. Huh. Is this going to start some long lengthy quest? I'm suspicious. I'm really suspicious. All right. We're going to cut this episode here. On the next episode, we're going to open the mysterious chest, as it says. That's why I'm suspicious. Uh, yeah. Very interesting. So when we complete this, this shop's going to be ours, and we're going to be able to sell things. Is that going to be passive income? Uh, well, we'll find out. So stay tuned on the next time. Peace.